So the administration is now acting. Is this a strong enough message to Russia? Well, it's long overdue, and it's in the right areas, and it's after very careful investigation. So there should be no question that, that this is the proper uh, action. It also aligns in terms of time with action that Theresa May, uh, the, the Prime Minister of Britain, is taking in retaliation for Russia's chemical attack on British soil, unprecedented chemical attack on British soil, which may not just have endangered that former spy and his daughter, but other Others in the vicinity. So it's a very serious uh, set of circumstances. And coming down hard on Russia for aggressive action against the West and against uh, the U.S. is the right thing to do. Having said that, the two intelligence agencies, most of the intelligence officials, had also previously been sanctioned under the Obama administration. So how much of a difference will this really make? Well, uh, maybe that list of officials can't be sanctioned too, too much further, but uh, from what I hear, there may be additional indictments, and there's certainly a lot more that can be done, for example, in Britain, to deprive Russians uh, living in Britain, or at least having homes in Britain, of those homes that would, uh, you know, severely impact them. And uh, forbidding people from doing business with international banks or traveling is uh, a pretty serious hardship. Well. Exactly, Jane. If you really excluded them from the so-called SWIFT transfer system, that would be a very severe yeah. penalty. We've already heard from SWIFT, though, that they say they're not going to do that unless all the countries involved get behind it. Is that realistic? Could that really happen? Well, I don't know about all the countries, but let's start with uh, Germany, UK, and US all singing from the same hymn book and going to the UN, uh, where Nikki Haley, who has proved herself to be quite able as our ambassador, is uh, going to engage the UN in action. So I. I would say it's possible. And it just galls me that uh, uh, President Putin is campaigning with impunity in Crimea right now for his election, which takes place in a few days.